So the next part of our video will be to assemble this uh, LGA dev kit and uh, see if we can uh, get a module to go live on it. So when we uh, took the stuff out of the box before, we saw that we had um, these uh, jumper jumpers for the board. And actually what we find is that on the board as it's delivered, there are already factory configured jumpers. So we don't need any any other jumpers at the moment. Um, we've got our micro USB cable, um, we've got our antenna cable and the antenna. So I suppose one of the first things we can do is simply put the SMA connector together. So there we have our antenna ready to go and ready to be attached to the board, but we'll do that later on. Um, and something else at the moment that we don't need is this small, uh, this largest adapter. The, the large adapter is for a different LGA kit, so we don't need that. We will just be using, with this kit, the small and medium adapters. And you can see that they clearly say small and medium near to the, uh, near to the pin number one location. And this adapter, the, the medium one, is typically designed for the EHS-6 or the ELS-61 style products. So you'll find that, that product will fit in there and be held nicely on the board. That's the idea. So we need to assemble the parts that we have. And um, what we have to do is find a way to get the bed of nails to be located on the board secure it in place and um, then we can put our adapters and our pressure plate on the top. Um, the first thing we probably need to do is to take this um, bed of nails and you can see it's also keyed, it's also got this orientation key here, um, very similar to the um, small and medium size module adapters. and. Similarly, on the board, you can see that there's a cut-off corner here. I hope you can see that. There's a cut-off corner here. The same cut-off corner will line up with the bed of nails and the adapters later on. So the first thing we'll do is prepare this. On the back side, you can see there are four screws. And we just need to take these screws off, I guess, to screw them on. To, okay, there's not just screws. We have screws and washers. So we're going to try not to lose those. Okay, so we have screws, metal washers, and some sort of insulation material on there as well. So if we just take these off, I'm just using a standard crosshead screwdriver. Just remove these. Okay, and on the underside of the bed of nails, um, there are two location pins, which should help us. And um, yeah, we'll see how we go, see how we go with locating that. So of course, we have to put it this way around with that little tag up here in the pin position one. That needs to line up with the board. And there are two holes here, one here and one up here, which will help us with uh, locating underneath the bed of nails so if I push that into place yeah that seems to go quite nicely into place looks fine so let's try and put the screws back these screws will then hold the bed of nails in place We don't need too much force here, just enough to literally hold the bed of nails on the dev kit. Now just checked I've got all the washers and uh, insulation material still in place. Just doing a little backwards half turn to find the beginning of the thread. There we go. And then uh, screwing it up. 
So with the 80 way connector for the dev kit underneath, with the bed of nails on the top, lined up with its uh, little pin one position, uh, I think that's pretty much ready to go. Um, what we would do then is put uh, an adapter in place. Um, this is the small adapter for the board. This is the large adapter for, for larger modules. And again, you can see the same keying as, as on, the, um, on the bed of nails, so we'll use that. And these adapters shouldn't be able to be placed the wrong way around because you can see down here in this corner, this corner is slightly misshapen. Um, there's a slight bump in the adapter and that slight bump in the adapter helps us place it properly on the, on the uh, bed of nails. So there we go. Our bed of nails is now ready to take a module. Um, this is a, an ELS61 module, but we could obviously be using a, an EHS6 if we wanted. And although the laser etching on the module is that way around, we know that the cutoff corner for the module is here. This is probably a little bit easier if I put it there. That's the cutoff corner of the module, which will line up with the cutoff on the dev kit as well. So the module must go that way onto the dev kit and should then locate itself nicely on the board, which is great. So the final piece of <clears throat> this puzzle is the um, is the uh, pressure cap for the LGA. Now we just need to turn that so that we've got holes going through through it. If uh, if we place it down and then turn it, that locks it into place, and you can see those holes will disappear. But we just turn it to prepare it, and we are going to line this up with the four holes on the adapter and just push that gently down and then we apply a little bit of pressure and turn I think that's probably best done on the bench so we'll just apply a little bit of pressure and turn the adapter to lock the module in place and there we have uh, an ELS 61 installed on the LGA dev kit.